Have you ever wondered what lies at the root of our modern legal systems? Imagine unlocking the secrets of an ancient civilization where justice was carved into stone and law ruled the land. Let's expedition into the heart of Mesopotamia, where we'll unravel the mysteries of Hammurabi's Code of Laws, the oldest known legal system in the world. But before we start, don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe to join us on more epic adventures through history. What is the Code of Hammurabi? Step into ancient Babylon and behold the marvel of Hammurabi's code, etched upon a formidable slab of diorite, a stone as resilient as the laws it enshrines. Picture a towering figure of Hammurabi, receiving the divine wisdom of justice from Shamash, the god of order. Engraved in intricate cuneiform, this seven-foot monument narrates not just laws, but a testament to Hammurabi's righteous reign. Within its 282 edicts lies the essence of retribution, echoing the timeless principle of an eye for an eye. Each decree crafted in an if-then symphony outlines justice for all, from the highest echelons to the humblest of slaves. Witness the nuances of Babylonian society unfold, where justice is tailored to fit the three distinct classes. From familial disputes to commercial dealings, Hammurabi's code emerges not just as a legal document, but a window into a civilization's ethos a testament to the enduring quest for fairness and order. Number 1. It's not the earliest known code of laws. While Hammurabi's code often takes center stage as humanity's earliest legal manuscript, it shares the spotlight with two enigmatic predecessors, veiled in the sands of antiquity. Predating Hammurabi's reign, the Sumerian ruler Ur-Nammu etched the code of Ur-Nammu into history's tablets, a monumental feat achieved in the 21st century BC similarly, the code of Lipit Ishtar of Isin emerges from the shadows, a testament to legal ingenuity nearly two centuries preceding Hammurabi's ascent. These ancient codes, shrouded in the mystique of epochs past, bear a curious resemblance to Hammurabi's edicts, hinting at a tapestry of interconnected legal thought. Did they influence one another, or did they draw from a shared source, lost in the whispers of time? Number 2. The code included many bizarre and gruesome forms of punishment, Within the hallowed halls of Hammurabi's code lies a tapestry woven with threads of retributive justice, where the echoes of Lex Talionin reverberate through the corridors of time. Venture into the realm of ancient law, where justice meted out its dues with a chilling precision reminiscent of the ancient adage, an eye for an eye. Behold the spectacle of punishment, where each crime begets its own macabre fate. For those who dare to trade the path of taboo, a symphony of grotesque penalties awaited. In the case of incest, the flames of retribution consumed mother and son alike, while lovers entangled in murderous plots faced the cold embrace of impalement. Yet even the slightest transgression carried the weight of dread. Should a son dare to raise his hand against his father, the code's decree mandated a merciless severing of hands, a grim reminder of the price of disobedience. In a world where proof danced on the edge of uncertainty, justice found its peculiar muse in the form of the trial by ordeal. Here, the accused plunged into the abyss of fate, where survival ordained innocence and death spelled guilt. A river's embrace offered salvation or condemnation, a divine judgment etched in the currents of uncertainty. Number 3. The laws varied according to social class and gender. In the intriguing landscape of Hammurabi's code, justice wore many masks with its severity tailored to the social fabric and gender dynamics of ancient Babylon. If a man dared to knock out the teeth of his equal, the punishment was as grim as having his own teeth unceremoniously knocked out. Should the same crime be committed against someone of lower status, the penalty was a mere slap on the wrist in the form of a fine. Dive deeper, and you'll discover rank-based penalties that could send shivers down your spine. Take, for instance, the fate of those who dared harm a pregnant woman. For harming a pregnant maid servant, the price to pay was a monetary fine. However, should the victim be a free-born woman, the stakes were raised to a chilling level. The perpetrator's own daughter faced a harrowing retribution. The code wasn't finished yet. It also laid out distinct punishments for marital infidelity, with men escaping relatively unscathed while women faced a watery grave in the Euphrates, bound to their lovers. Number 4. The code established a minimum wage for workers. Amidst its ancient statutes, nestled like gems in the sands of time, lies a provision that would make even modern lawmakers nod in approval. 
minimum wage regulations, not a concept of the future but a reality in the ancient Mesopotamian era. In a breathtaking display of progressiveness, the code set the stage for fair compensation, ensuring that workers received their due. Journey through its edicts, and you'll stumble upon remarkable decrees dictating specific wages for various professions. Field laborers and herdsmen were promised a steady income of eight gur of corn per year, while ox drivers and sailors could count on six gur. The code had more surprises up its sleeve. Delve deeper, and you'll find provisions for medical practitioners, with healers entitled to five shekels for mending the bones of a freeborn man, though the rewards dwindled for slaves. Number 5. The code includes one of the earliest examples of the presumption of innocence. Within the labyrinth of Hammurabi's code lies a gem of legal enlightenment and early championing of the presumption of innocence. While its reputation may precede it with tales of harsh penalties, this ancient compendium is more than meets the eye. Embedded within its decrees is a revolutionary concept. The accused are deemed innocent until proven guilty. In a stunning twist, the burden of proof is thrust upon the accuser, with dire consequences for baseless accusations. Moreover, this legal marvel doesn't stop there. Step into the courtroom of ancient Babylon, where disputes were settled with a flair for fairness. Parties engaged in legal wrangling were granted the opportunity to present evidence and summon witnesses before a judge. Number 6. Historians are still unsure of the role the code played in Babylonian culture. Unlocking the mysteries of Hammurabi's code unveils a tantalizing puzzle of societal dynamics. While it offers a window into the daily rhythms of ancient Babylonia, its true role remains shrouded in mystery. Was it a mere amendment to pre-existing laws or a compilation of real-world legal battles? Some daring historians even propose it as a grand piece of royal propaganda, a testament to Hammurabi's reign as a beacon of justice. Yet, regardless of its function, one thing is certain, it was meant to be seen. Engraved for public gaze, the code stands as a testament to Hammurabi's quest for justice. As the epilogue boasts, it was designed for any soul embroiled in conflict to find solace and clarity, a beacon guiding them through the labyrinth of legal intricacies. Number 7. The code endured even after Babylon was conquered. The saga of Hammurabi's code is one of resilience and endurance, surpassing even the grandeur of Babylon itself. Following Hammurabi's demise in 1750 BC and the eventual downfall of his empire in 1595 BC at the hands of the Hittite conquerors, one might have thought his legal masterpiece would fade into oblivion. Hammurabi's code remained a beacon of justice, a guiding light in the tumultuous seas of Mesopotamian rule. Its influence persisted through centuries, embraced by new rulers and even adopted as a staple assignment for the scribal apprentices. Astonishingly, echoes of these laws reverberated through time, with fragments discovered on clay tablets as late as the 5th century BC a testament to the enduring power of Hammurabi's vision. Number 8. The laws weren't rediscovered until the 20th century. Lost to the shadows of history, these laws lay dormant until the 20th century, awaiting their triumphant resurrection. In a twist fit for the greatest epics, it was the French archaeologists of 1901 who unveiled the sacred relic, the legendary Diorite Stale, from the depths of Susa, Iran. Once a treasure of Babylon, spirited away by the Elamite king Shutruk Nahant during a daring raid, this four-ton masterpiece found sanctuary in Susa. Despite attempts to erase its past, the stale survived, silent witness to the passage of empires. Today, it stands majestically in the Louvre Museum, a silent sentinel of ancient wisdom and enduring legacy. If you enjoyed this exploration into the ancient world, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more riveting insights into humanity's past.